Chapter 23, Taking the Fight to CPPS. By now, you're not only standing, but you're in control of the fight. Because, one, you're learning to change your inner dialogue with mind control. Two, you stretch, massage, and walk to rehabilitate your body. And three, you meditate to calm and train your mind. And if these things are working, you're probably down two or three suffering categories. I hope more. A review of the CPPS Severity Quality of Life Chart. Hellish. Waves of intense pain throughout the day. Sitting or lying in some positions is impossible due to pain. Peeing 12 to 30 times per day. Climaxing feels like shooting napalm and then being hit below the belt with a 20-pound mallet. You may not even be able to achieve an erection. Lifting your legs up and moving them sideways is nearly impossible. And you cannot run without excruciating, incapacitating pain in your plumbing. Nasty. Waves of pain throughout the day, especially at predictably stressful moments. Sitting or lying in some positions is still very painful, and some are impossible. You're peeing 8 to 25 times per day. Orgasms cause a burning sensation. Lifting your legs up and moving them sideways is still very difficult. And you cannot run without excruciating pain in your plumbing. Unpleasant. Waves of pain at predictably stressful moments and dull throbbing otherwise. Sitting or lying in some positions is uncomfortable. You're still peeing 8 to 15 times per day. Sex is mostly worthwhile again, but orgasms still burn. And you can run, but the pain comes on pretty fast. Subsiding. There's no ongoing pain. Small waves of pain at really stressful times, but rapidly subsiding. You can sit or lie in most positions again. You're peeing 5 to 10 times per day as a healthy person. Sex is good again. And you can run for short bursts. Livable. No ongoing pain. Small waves of pain at really stressful times, but rapidly subsiding. You can sit or lie in all positions again. You're peeing 5 to 10 times per day as a healthy person. Sex is good again. And you can run for a long time, provided you're not stressed out or overtired. Victorious. No ongoing pain. Very rare twinges of pain that last 1 to 3 seconds. You can stretch, grapple, and move through any position. You're peeing 5 to 10 times per day as a healthy person. Sex is excellent, though you can never get enough. Hashtag man problems. And you can sprint and train even when you're tired without any symptoms or pain. What's next? You need to take the offensive. Keep your defense first and foremost, but send out some feeler jabs. Find out where CPPS is weak. And then, knock CPPS out. In the last few chapters, we will discuss... 1. Using a few simple dietary changes to reduce inflammation and recover faster. You may even lose weight. 2. Reincorporating exercise into your week. 3. Adjusting your work environment to prevent future body problems. And 4. Recommended reading so you can move past my level of expertise, improve your self-understanding, and help others fight CPPS.